And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for either of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds. That's one minute to answer 10 questions in the category of your choice. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. Although you're allowed to work as a team, I shall only respond to the first answer given. The score stands at 170 for the University of Arusha, Tanzania, against 350 for the University of Ghana. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. The University of Arusha, you're behind, so you'll play first. But remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are anagrammed movies, which of these scientists, end-to-end -end Roman regions? End-to-end. End-to-end it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Identify these words that begin with or end with E-N-D. And seconds away, to express support publicly. Pass. Pass. To donate, give or bequeath. Pass. Pass. A disease common to a particular area. En endemic. Yes. A wicked person or a demon. Pass. A change of fashion. Trend. Yes. A type of hormonal gland. Endo endocrine. Yes. A Samuel Beckett play, the final stage of a chess match. Pass. To climb above, to surpass. Pass. To add to the end of a document. Append. Yes. Append. Yes. To foretell or to presage. Pass. Pass. To express support publicly. To endorse. Yes. To donate, give or bequeath. Pass. Pass. A wicked person or a demon. Pass. Pass. A Samuel Beckett play. Final stage of a chess match. Pass. To climb above, to surpass. Ascend. Yes. To foretell or to presage. Predict. No. <laughs> you answered six questions correctly in the ultimate challenge, giving you 300 and a final total of 470. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Donate, endow. Demon, fiend. Beckett play, end game. And to foretell is to portend. The University of Ghana, you are 120 points behind and you need three correct answers in order to win. Which of our three remaining categories might you choose? Which of these scientists? It is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. For the given set of scientists, tell which, in seconds away, discovered penicillin. Fleming. Yes. Developed the battery. Water. Yes. Invented dynamite. Nobel. Yes. Developed atomic theory. Dalton. Yes. Explained Brownian motion. Einstein. Yes. Created ammonia process. Rogentin. No. First synthesized urea. Maxwell. No. Developed the rabies vaccine. Pasteur. Yes. First saw Jupiter's moon. Galileo. Yes. Conducted the oil drop experiment. David. No. Created ammonia process. Braun. No. First synthesized Cola. urea. Cola. Yes. Conducted the oil Milica. drop. Milica. Yes. Created ammonia process. Bekel. No. Haba. Yes. <laughs> Hit the jackpot. <laughs> With 500 points for the ultimate challenge and 500 extra US dollars in cash and a grand total of 850, the University of Ghana is today's winner of the Zane Africa Challenge. <laughs> the University of Arusha, Tanzania, you put up a very brave fight. But we'll have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each, plus 10,000 US dollars as an institutional grant for your university. The University of Ghana, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university all courtesy of Zane.
In our next game, African Nazarene University Kenya takes on Njala University Sierra Leone in the international inter-university battle of brains. That is the Zane Africa Challenge 2010. From all of us here, it's bye-bye. Till next time.